I'm going to heat up some tea and then we will start soon. going to be another minute or two. What kind of tea do I like? I like a lot of kinds of tea. My favorite is probably Bengal spice. Does the witness for PC support the PS4 controller out of the box? Yes, unless something broke recently, but it should. I don't know why it's not detecting my gamepad. Right. Again, my cha is good, yes. Why Absolver? Because I want to play it. What kind of question is that? What do you suggest I play rather than Absolver? Or player unknowns battlegrounds. I've got to finish off the miniature cupcakes before they get stale. It's going to be the fighting game fuel. Have I put aside the slideshow project? No. Why are, like... <laughs> I streamed it like a week ago or something, right? And then there was this whole eclipse thing that I was traveling for. And now I've been working uh, pretty heavily on some witness stuff. Um, so... It might be as much as a couple of more weeks before I do more slideshow stuff, or I might I might squeak some streams in. It's just, you know, I'm working hard on the Witness stuff, and so I want to play some games instead of working on another program. I think that's understandable. I think it's time for me to start absolving. 
I had a little bit of a rough time with this game yesterday, but I'm going to start it up again, and I'm going to hope that I'll be able to increase my ability to play effectively. Have I done a Let's Play of The Witness? Uh, no, I mean, yeah, it's, it's as someone mentioned, we did a giant bomb video, but it wasn't really a Let's Play so much. Is the witness work connected to a port or updating the game in general? Um, I can't say everything about it, unfortunately. Um, it does involve, to some degree, updates that are roll out, for example, to the PC version of the game. But then there's other things going on as well. All right. So one of the things that I was struggling with in this game, so I not only have to like learn all the visual cues and the timings and stuff, but I don't even know what to do. So like when an incoming attack happens from a guy, obviously I want to do something about it, right? And there's there's three different things in this game that you can do. You can like go into guard like this and that'll block an attack, but it seems to cause stamina. You can dodge like this which also, I think, costs stamina. And then you can parry with the right stick. Um, and I'm not sure which of those is more effective in which contexts, and the game doesn't seem to want to tell me that. So that's the other thing that's confusing, is I'm not only like trying to button mash uh, to f just keep up with things, but like I don't know which thing to actually do. Like, I feel like guard maybe for, is for smaller attacks, and when they do the big specials like this stuff, that you don't want to guard that, but, but I don't actually know. That's a guess. Ugh. Ow! Don't gang up on me, people. Another guy? What? Oh, that's a player. Alright, whatever. Reap a chief emblem. At least that player isn't attacking me. Which is a thing I hate about this game. I don't know why that's in here. I'm going to go absolve this guy. No! Ah! Every time, every time. That is so goofy. I, I hate that about this game. I'm just not going to attack guys near click. Because I can't... Uh, I guess... I guess if I punch... No, see, punching like that and then going into guard... See, there we go. That's like a feint, but it still carries me forward. Like, that whole time when I was stepping over the cliff, I was pulling back on the joystick and it didn't do anything. Super annoying. Ow, stop dodging. This guy's tough.
There we go. I'm not making my chains today. Why can't I see the health bar on the other player? I need more mana. I need more mana. There's no way for me to like con guys to know how much higher level they are than me. So I don't know if this is a safe encounter or not. Ow! Ow. Well, I'm certainly not blocking much. other player kicking my butt if that's a player ah come on what a jerk maybe he's too much of a noob to realize I'm another player or maybe he's another one of those jerk other players like why why is that even part of this game? I don't understand. Maybe it makes more sense later in the game. But like I don't I don't want to fight other players right now. I can barely even fight. Like why is it doing that? And then when I'm like at a quarter health because I'm fighting NPCs and another player comes along and just kills me, like that's not cool. I don't understand. Is that a place I can go? Sure, why not? Oh god, I really don't want to be here. I can't explain the fighting system because I don't understand how it works. So I don't know what you want me to explain. You punch and you block and you parry apparently, but I don't know when you parry and when not. I don't know what is more effective to do when. I don't know any of these things in the game. Apparently you're just supposed to discover that stuff, which would be fine if it weren't so dependent on tweaky stuff like what just happened. So when I got, that guy was punching me from the other side. Yeah, like there I just parried him, I think. 
So maybe parries are mostly for guys attacking you from behind or... I don't know. I don't know. Ow. Ow, this guy's kicking my butt. Ow. seem to get health for taking guys out. Yes, there is a tutorial, but it doesn't tell you enough to be competent at fighting. It tells you the basic controls, which I know what all the basic controls are, but I don't use them effectively in the middle of combat yet. Like, there's a very, very big gap between knowing in principle, in your mind, rationally, what the list of controls are, and then actually using those intelligently in a reasonable way. So, like, one of the things I can do is change stances, like, with the right... I can't do it right now because I'm not in combat mode, but... Uh, which one was it? Well, it won't, it won't put me in combat mode, even though I'm locked on. I don't know why. But like I've never changed stances intentionally in the middle of a battle because it's just too much. There we go. Wait, why did it work there? R2. Yeah. So I can like do this stuff and then that'll control what special attacks I do and stuff. And maybe which way my guard can block attacks from. But like if you watch me fight, you'll notice I never do that. So and it's just because... There's too much going on. So the one thing I can do is I can chain stuff based on... Oh god, I'm here again. Damn it. Come on, I need this health. Ah! Like, that's so stupid that I fall into... I mean, maybe it's not that stupid, but I can't run away from fights as far as I can tell, so... If I do, if there is a way to run away from fights, I don't know what the controls are to do it. So falling into four guys like that that I didn't see is just death. Like I <laughs> Ow. See, I don't understand what breaks his chain either. Like I blocked and parried a couple times. And they didn't break this guy's chain at all. Ow! Ow! And like, why there's a respawn timer, I don't know. Have I tried for honor? No. better that time.
I guess if I raise my willpower, I'll have more healing ability and stuff. At least this is roughly at the level of things, as long as I don't fall into those four guys, this is roughly at the level of things that I can actually handle, unlike yesterday when I was trying to do this boss in Canada. Ah. Ow. 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 Why is none of this working? Why did I not block? I don't know if I get to just got the timing wrong or what. Man, this camera is terrible in this location. It's like because there's a roof over us or whatever, but... Oh, come on. Like, you can't... When you're near an edge like that, it walks you so slowly in combat mode that it's hard to get away from the edge. Uh... I don't know. I like this game in principle, or I really want to like it, but there's, there's enough things like that that don't feel right. But maybe I just need to get better at it, and maybe it's fine, right? Or maybe I just need to grind easier guys and level up which is not really the kind of thing that I like, but whatever. Oh, damn it. I didn't want to do that. This camera is crazy. They need to, like, just have someone do a week of work on the camera. That was not a good camera position. <laughs> All right. Let's try and get good and complain less. Yeah, so I guess the guard didn't work on those big attacks. I guess that's the point of them. So you kind of have to recognize what's a small attack and what's a big attack or something. I don't know. Have I tried approaching the combat like a typical 2D? No, I don't play 2D fighting games. I don't know. I've never played Street Fighter or any of that stuff. All right. So I fought these guys before. Let's see if I can handle them again. Guard. <laughs> like I was It's like I was trying to go around the guy and it wouldn't it wouldn't go in any direction. It wouldn't even try to walk. That's so like if you're going to have if you're going to have that be part of this game like getting knocked off ledges and stuff, then your character has to at least try to walk around guys when you push the stick in their direction cuz the camera's freaking moving all the time, so you can't you can't push it in exactly where you want to go because it's moving. So you have to have a little bit of, like, slack on it or something. You can't, like, have enemies just be big, fat blockers. Oh, 
Okay, so I guess when it makes the blunt noise, that big bassy noise, maybe that means I broke his chain. And that's when I counterattack. Because that was not ever explained in the tutorial, as far as I know. Fong Li Noble Pants. That's strictly worse than my prospect trousers. Yeah, so I guess when it makes the big boomp noise, that's when I counterattack. And other than that, I have to get ready to keep parrying or blocking. I believe that story. Ah. Ow. It's not leaving me with a lot of health. I need an easy combat now. God, not another two guys. Scout gloves. Let's see how elite I am now. Why are they so much heavier? Um, it's not that boring for me right now because I'm getting better at fighting a little bit. It's just hard to get better because it's complicated. Sorry if it's boring for you. I'm trying to get to the point, so there's boss battles at a few places on this map, and I'm trying to get to the point where I could plausibly win those boss battles, which I don't think is yet. Those guys need to be absolved pretty hard. I do like the art style here. I think they did a really good job. It reminds me a little bit of the Witness art style in some ways. Um, I mean, it's very different in other ways, but uh, you know, if I had art directed this game, I'd feel good about myself for what we managed to do. Oh God, there's two guys here. Ow, there's three, what? What happened? Where did these people come from? Uh, I don't want to be absolved. <sighs> like, what even happened there? I started fighting one guy. There was another guy around the corner, and then did someone respawn behind me, or where did where did that third attacker come from? Super annoying. All right. See, if I can't even deal with that, there's no way I'm going to win one of the boss battles. So, that's all I'm saying. Why is there a statue of a dude here? The statues all over the place remind me of the witness, too. But, there you go. Alright. What is going on with the camera? Jesus. Ow. What 
is going on with the camera here? This is like the worst camera angle. Ugh. Like, why did it pick from below us? That was like the worst. All right. Yeah, they need a camera programmer on this game pretty bad. <laughs> All right. Or they just need, I mean, I'm sure they have someone who programmed the camera. They just need to put one week into dealing with that kind of stuff. Have I looked at the combat deck thingy yet? No, because the combat system, even with the default stuff, is I can't even fight already so making it more complicated by uh by having me adjust my deck and tweak stuff around and change what the moves are would be insane right like i need to at least be have bare competence with the default move set before i even bother touching any of that stuff Is that back dude gonna rush me? Maybe not. No, but that guy is, all right. Oh, come on, what? God. Like, I thought it locks on because of the carrot over the guy's head, but I guess it doesn't. And then I tilt the camera because I'm trying to like parry and it it like tilts up or whatever. And maybe that's why, because maybe that's why it was at such a weird angle because that's where it started at the start of combat. But like when you have your parry bound to the same stick as your camera movement, that's gonna happen. All right, so that carrot doesn't mean locked apparently. It's when the health bar is, it's the darker carrot that means locked. Come on, God, I'm dead, I'm so dead. Ah. This game is too hard, it is too hard. I mean, you can have variable difficulty, right? You can have zones of varying difficulty and people can go to the easier zones or the hard zones, but there's not a zone appropriate for my skill level, which is probably the skill level of most people who have not played this kind of game. So, oh God, dude, fuck you. All right, now forget it. I'm just, I'm just alt F, I can't alt F4? God. Oh, he's not gonna, all right. Whatever. If that, if that guy, yeah. If that guy hadn't left right then, I would have just rage quit the game. It's so stupid. Oh, great, now I don't have health to fight the actual NPCs that I need to fight. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. I. I really want to like this game. I think it's cool in a lot of ways, but dude, there's just, there's a lot of choices I would make differently. Let me put it that way. Like what the As soon as this fight's over I'm gonna rant about another thing. So the crappy thing about the controls is that Perry is on the stick on the right analog stick. And apparently the timing of parry matters a lot. But like, so when you press a button, you know exactly when the button was pressed. 
and you can learn the timing, right? So like, oh, I pressed a little too early because you know when you press and then you see when the attack comes in. With like the right stick, it takes time to push it. And I don't know to this, because that's a non-negligible amount of time, I don't know uh, when that registers as a parry. And I don't think that I see any visual indicator that I can disambiguate. So it's very hard to learn the timing because it's on the soupy right stick, right? If it were a button, then I could probably figure it out better. I don't know, that's my current opinion. We'll see. What are the things I'm enjoying? Well, I already said I like I like the art style. Um, I like the, um, I mean, the animations are pretty all right. It's not Overwatch style, but most things aren't aren't overwatch quality um, I like the idea of the game right I like the idea of a third person combat and it's just like maybe it's you know maybe the only problem I have with it is that the entry ramp is way 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 too steep which they must I mean that's the thing is as a developer you're supposed to know that right you're supposed to you're supposed to s build the game accordingly so it might be that as soon as I get better at the game, then I don't mind the rest of it, or I enjoy the rest of it. But like right now, like I still can't fight effectively, or I'm learning how to fight effectively. And then like you know, a, a different player character comes along with like way higher level and with way more moves, and just decides to start attacking me. It's like why, why is that the game design, right? Like someone who's still learning the game. It's attacked by griefers, essentially. Like, what? Why is... It's just... Yeah. Like, there, that, that timing was apparently okay. And that was too early. But I can't... As far as I know, I can't tell, like, when... I think most of my parries are way too early or in the wrong direction, but I can't tell the difference between those two things. Like, I don't, I don't know if I'm misparrying because it's the wrong direction, like by a little bit, because the direction's analog and the position of the stick is analog, right? So there's two dimensions of analog, and I don't know which dimension I'm wrong in, and as far as I know, I'm not being given any visual indicator of how I'm off. Um, it may just be that I'm not spotting everything relevant yet. Um, but it's, you know, there are things that make games, when a game is hard like this, right, then you want to help people learn it. And there are things that you do to make things easier or harder to learn. And one thing that makes things easier to learn is an in-game representation, visually or sonically or whatever, of every game mechanical thing that matters, right? So if I'm parrying in a specific direction and it's off by some angle from what is required, you know, I'm pointing the analog stick, say at 30 degrees, and the guy's at like 15 degrees and that's too far off or something. I don't think that's too far off, but you know, for example, then you wanna see something from your character at 30 degrees and something from the incoming guy at 15 degrees that says failed parry or something, right? And that's how you know, oh, okay, I did that wrong. And then maybe you turn that off as an expert setting when you get better. But like, when you, you don't have that stuff, it makes it very hard to learn the game. Now that said, the stuff may be in here, but as far as I know, I wasn't shown it in the tutorial and it's hard to spot it in the middle of a fight when I'm trying all I can to just not die. I feel like I'm in a higher level area now. I feel like I shouldn't be here. Maybe that's not true. Maybe I kind of went backwards and I'm going back to the... I can't really tell. Are those respawns? What is that noise? Oh, maybe that was that I could heal now. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going. This seems really bad. It seems like I don't want to be here. What 
were those noises? What did that mean? Why am I in a vast, empty area? I like the environment, though. All this stuff looks really good. They did a good job. Like, what did that zhoop mean? Tower of Adol. Okay, well... Wait, is that the exit door that I went to before? From a different direction? I wish I could pull up a map. Let's see what happens if I try to fight these guys. Ow. Ow! This guy does a lot of damage. Ow! Why did that parry not work? I don't know. Alright, well that was one guy. So that's giving me a healing over time. I don't know how long that lasts. With my power kick, I can break those wooden doors. I don't know about these wooden doors. I don't think so. These look cosmetic. And anyway, I can't... Yeah, let me see. I can't frickin' go into stance changing mode unless I'm locked on to somebody. So I don't even know why that breaking wooden doors thing is in the game. Maybe it comes into play later. Like I can't, unless I'm locked on to a dude, I can't change my stances and stuff. And I'm at half health, so that's very grim. don't open. Yeah, this feels like a more advanced area, and I really shouldn't be here, and I'm going to get killed. I don't know what this does still. I mean, this is all s usual stuff that I can do, so I don't know what... Is this against a player character? I don't know. Yeah. So that's, I don't want to play any multiplayer stuff till I'm better at this game. Oh, screw you. I like the relatively long views that you get when you're looking out from one area to another. Oh, I guess the altar healed me or something. Maybe those zoops are autosave points. I don't really know.
That's my best guess, is that those are autosave. Oh, Guidance Bridge. Okay, so I've just been going around the area. All right, I'll try and do some of these encounters again. Did these reset because... I don't know. So if I go left... Yeah, I think those are autosave point noises. You assume you could lock on the breakable planks. I don't think so. Maybe. Like I think in the in the uh, in the tutorial, it had me lock onto a statue. Like with the breakable planks, you could clearly see a room through it, whereas these are just like background. No, this is... right. This is this place. Alright. This PS4 gamepad that I'm using is kind of falling apart. I'm going to switch to another one. Alright. Like, that's pretty cool that there's, like, a giant boat there that got flipped over in, like, a big storm or mighty attack or something. Oh, sorry. Sorry. I didn't mean to attack you. I didn't realize those were players. Fucking game. Why, why is there PvP in here? I just don't even understand. I don't even understand. I mean, I understand why you want PvP in general, but why is it... Why is it in the intro area? Those guys actually weren't that good, even, as far as I could tell. Alright. Great, now I've got a weapon, and I don't know the move sets for the weapons. Ow! I guess I want to have a weapon for the boss battle. Right? Because then... Then I have a weapon. Of course, I don't remember where it is. A new urine belt. And this is here again. It's not really where I wanted to go. I wanted to go. I assume there's like a battle over here. I wish I could just pop up a map. Because this place is all mazy. It's like intentionally super mazy with limited sight lines and stuff. And like, I don't... 
I wonder if I could bust through that one. I'd just fall to my death. I think. No, not to my death, but there's nothing good there. Oh, my weapon broke. I can't pick that up for some reason. Another reap another Kelly Reaper Chief emblem. I don't remember where to go to get to the dudes. Lock on. Thank you. Stance. <laughs> Come out. Come out. Like, the lock-on doesn't happen until they're within a certain very close distance, even. Yeah, these people are much easier than the ones in that other area. Right. Like, when the carrot's over the guy's head, I should be able to lock on to him. And it doesn't always, which is weird. Crappy camera angle. I didn't want to follow the guy. All right. That's the annoying thing in this game is like every attack steps you forward, whereas if you learn a martial art, you know how to punch people without stepping forward. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Is that a player? That's a player. Am I going back the wrong? I just want to find the boss battle. Okay. I'm so going to lose, but what do you want? What if I go over here? Is there a weapon in here? I want a weapon. Ow! Ow. 
Ow! I see. I parried that, or I tried to parry that. I don't know if parries don't work against those. I don't know if like. I just don't know. I don't know if I'm supposed to dodge some attacks because they're unparryable. I have no idea. I literally have no idea. Like, literally, the amount of idea that I have is zero. Zero idea. All right, let me lose this again. Oh, what? Screw you. <gasps> Why does the parry not work? Why does the parry not work? <sighs> it's like 90% of the time that I try to block or parry, it doesn't work, and I don't understand why. Like I said, I don't understand if it's a timing problem, or a direction problem, or if I'm stunned from some other attack, so I like, like can't block or parry at that time or whatever? I just don't know. Where even... Oh, yeah. Ow, come on, what? Where'd this guy come from? Oh, do these just keep respawning? Is that what's happening? Yeah, I think they just respawn all the time, which is annoying. I thought I could just knock a bunch of them down. Apparently not. <sighs> Come on. There we go. Finally, it works.
what? Come on! I hate the parrying system. I seriously, it's terrible. <laughs> I'm just flailing with the frickin' thing. Lock onto the guy! What? Oh my god. I don't seem to be able to change my lock on without changing my stance either, which is super annoying. I've just stopped trying to parry because I can't ever do it successfully. What's happening? I can't move! What's. Oh, my cable is loose. God. That's not the game's fault, but it's just, oh, why did it unlock? What just happened? Lock onto somebody. I'm hitting the button. Final, I don't understand the controls of this game at all. Parry the goddamn guy. What? I just tried like nine times and it didn't work. What can somebody tell me? Is there some convention for parrying in this kind of genre that means that I wouldn't have been able to do it there at all through like nine attacks? Like what, am I not supposed to try to parry? I... <sighs> yeah, I'm doing a lot better at this battle than I was yesterday, but it's still... I'm not that close to being able to beat it. <sighs> Hold on, now I have to switch. This cable is loose that I'm trying to use, which isn't going to help me win for sure. Got to get a better cable. Like, is there, maybe I tried to parry too frequently and there's like an invisible timeout between how often I can attempt a parry, but I don't see any visual representation of that. It's just my experience of trying to parry is I move the joystick in a direction and nothing visible happens, and then the guy hits me anyway. <laughs> ah. All right. I don't want to be too annoyed at the game because the developers were cool by sending me a copy and stuff. So I'm, I'm trying to, I'm just going to keep trying. What is going on with the, why did it unlock? Come on. 
See, it switches my stance when I change lock, which is... I have to say I don't like that. It's really hard to dodge because the camera is just changing all the time. So not as many of these guys are respawning now, so maybe I can just beat them all down. Ow. Oh, I parried! I parried! I'm not even really trying to parry anymore because I've failed so many times. Ugh! Wait, what? Oh, this is... Didn't realize I was fighting already. I was looking at chat. Some health back. That's good. Maybe I'll just fight all these guys down. Ow. I tried to parry every one of those and I missed every time and I can't tell why. Like I said, I don't know if it's direction because the camera's moving everywhere. I don't know if it's timing. I didn't want to unlock...
I don't understand. Ah, I didn't want to unlock there. That's so frustrating. Stop. Stop unlocking me. Lock me back onto one of the... Oh, I took so much damage right there. But what is happening? It's just unlocking me at a distance? Like, what? That's the worst reason to lose a fight. God, and now my controller is unplugging again. Are you serious? All right. That was still better for longevity purposes. I'm pretty sure the unlocking is because you're clicking the stick and entering run mode. No, I think it's happening. So I'm trying to use R1 to switch targets, right? And I think sometimes it unlocks. Maybe not. Maybe I'm accidentally R1 and clicking the stick or something. That could be. But like here, like even just just locking onto the guy was hard right there. Like I don't even know why. God, that takes so much stamina to guard, like... Alright, I'm just gonna wail on these guys for a while. No, it wasn't, it definitely wasn't clicking the stick. It was like trying to... Oh my god, I hate this lock-on. I hate it. I freaking hate it. That's how much I hate it. I'm just going to kick a dude. I'm just not even trying to change lock-on targets now. I'm just... <laughs> I'm trying to get my actual target between me and the locked-on guy so that I don't have to lock on. It's ridiculous. At least I saw my guy try and parry that time. What is going on? Parry the damn attacks. If I knew, so this is the thing. I'm now at the point where I'm familiar enough with the game that if I knew what I was supposed to do, I could probably do it, right? The problem is, I don't know what I'm supposed to do in terms of what counters what and what. There should be like a Yoda guy who you can talk to about these things in the game. Okay, so once the bad, once the henchman comes out, he just goes into full guard for a while. Fuck, ah, come on, parry the things. I guess parrying takes like a two thirds of a second or something. Like there, I tried to parry that and my guy did nothing. I'm so annoyed at this. Uh. 
like it, it seems to just auto unlock based on distance which is annoying because I want to get distance from guys to keep my stamina up but I don't want to auto unlock like Oh, does he have like a permanent two henchmen now? Is that what happens? He goes back into fighting mode, but has a permanent two henchmen. Where I guarded there. I don't know why it didn't work. Finally! Uh. Hey, I actually succeeded. I guess that's the first thing I never even found any of the smaller encounters. I get spike turtle war gloves or something? My urine belt. Where's my spike turtle war gloves? Oh, war gloves, right. Oh, God. The last thing I need to do <laughs> is change my movement set. Okay, I guess I press up to activate my war gloves. It's not slower than you think, it's faster than you think. You're parrying, then getting hit after you lower your guard. Also using R1 lock when R2 is the stance change. No, I'm trying, no, g dude, I'm using R1 to try and change the lock. I know the difference between R1 and R2. That is clear. And you're not using power. I don't have any powers except for health, right? And health takes like two seconds of me standing there. And I guess I don't know when it recharges. I guess it recharged during that combat and that would have helped. But like, if the parry is faster than I think, then why does it take him almost a second to animate into the position like that doesn't it doesn't I, i'm just trying to tell you guys what you do to make a game learnable you can disagree with me it's fine but don't think i don't have an opinion that's founded on something right that's all i'm saying okay so on that map there were like nearby locations that had smaller dots so i want to try and find those I don't know how to do that. Oh, this dude's fast. War 
gloves. Ah, oh, he knocked my work gloves off. What? How is this random lost prospect tougher than the boss monster? <clears throat> All right, well, what ifs? The glowing crystals behind you are the powers, and the indicators have a visible meter on them that fills as you take or block hits. All right. game could be clearer about that. Oh, two guys, right? I just failed to fight one guy, so now there's two guys. Uh, let's go this guy. Oh, I guess I can do this attack without locking. I don't know why it taught me to kick wooden doors in the tutorial. What is going on? I hate the locking system in this game. It's so bad. That may be it for me for now. Like, I mean, those are pretty good. Those one-on-one -on -one battles with harder opponents are a pretty good learning situation. It's just my tally of frustration has gone over the top again. <laughs> like, I'm just not in the mood anymore. Even though I just won a fight, so I should be in a good mood. I just won a boss fight, but I'm like not. Okay, so that big particle effect that came off me was one of the crystals filling up, I guess. I need a leg sweep in my move set, I guess, for when guys just stand there. I I tried to parry so many times. And I still don't know I still don't know, right? Like it's fine, so, so this is the thing about games, right? It's fine if I fail to parry because I know what I'm trying to do and I just do it at the wrong time, right? Like the, if the timing's really tight, then that's like a skill thing, right? It's like, oh, I didn't, I didn't have enough skill to parry. That's my fault, right? That's what, it feels good in games where when you fail, it's because it's your fault. But I still, even after having won that boss battle, I still don't know the parry timing because again, because of the combination of it being an analog right stick and the analog direction, so it's, am I getting the 
timing wrong or the direction wrong and by how much. And I just can't tell. So I can't learn it. I can't improve without just random flailing. And that is what makes games feel frustrating and unfair. Or maybe not always unfair, but um, it doesn't feel good, right? So I have to like tough my way through it, right? I have to be like, uh, I'm going to grit my teeth and just keep doing these fights until I learn. Whereas you would like it that I'm enjoying these fights, right? But I, I'm really not enjoying these fights. Like most of the time I hit the parry... Okay, there my guy actually did a parry animation. God, see? I just... Oh, I work. It worked. Yay. I just I'm still flailing. I'm going to look I'm going to look uh I'm going to look after I finish at how many hours I have on this game and it's at least 3. Not counting some of the extra time when the screen was up when I was starting the screen and like maybe I'm especially mentally handicapped when it comes to fighting games, but like, I feel like with more provisions for learnability, I should be competent at this game by now, and I'm not. I'm still just, like, button mashing. Oh, now there's two guys. Wait, he's running? Chicken. Like how, why was that a block? Like he just turned blue. Is that some magic power that I should have that I don't have? Raise shields. Tired. I suppose I should have done my health power up before the fight. Like, by the time I can lock onto him, he's already attacking me, which feels bad. Why is this guy so much weaker than the other guy? So I guess I have one gem that's fully filled and another one that's partially filled. Is that what I'm seeing on my butt there? I already have those. That's what I'm seeing on my butt. Does this try and heal me? I don't think I can get there from here. I can't just like Mario jump over the... maybe. Nope, nope, invisible wall. Invisible wall. Oh, I don't have enough energies to activate my, my special gloves. Come on, lock. Do something. Do the thing. Ah. 
Ow! Okay, so I guess the fiery attacks are non-guardable. Right? So when I see, like, Flame Fist or something, I can't guard that. I have to... I guess I have to parry that, or... Something else it... So the other comment that I have about the person in chat who said like, oh, you're not winning the fight because you're not using all the powers and knowing all the gems and stuff. That is true. <laughs> but the reason because that I'm not using that stuff is because I'm overwhelmed with just the basic moveset, right? It's more complicated than my brain can handle already without the extra like healing stuff and whatever in the middle of combat. So again, this is like a, a game design learnability thing. You know, yes, it's true that I'm not doing those things, but the reason I'm not doing those things is because this game is hella complicated. And it's very hard to do those things. <sighs> like, and this camera is not helping, frankly. Jesus. I almost had that! I almost had that! I was like one punch away. Fire attacks are ground guard breaks. They don't guarantee breaking guard, but hit your stamina heavier than normal attacks, okay? Try this again, Mr. Punching the Wall. <laughs> you know, among many other things, like, I understand the combo meter at the bottom, but when I get overwhelmed in the middle of a fight, it's just too much to look at it and try to time my punches, right? And the reason is just, it's not that I don't know what to do. Well, for that, it's not that I don't... For that, it's not that I don't know what to do. It's that... It's that there's just too much else going on for my brain to keep up, right? Like, if I had designed this game, I mean, it's different, right, if you want a game to be tractable to people who are very experienced at fighting games versus people who are not like me, right? If I was going to design this game to be playable by people who are, have not played tons of these games, the first thing I would do is start at, make the fighting system way simpler at the beginning, right? There would be, like, there wouldn't be three ways to dodge an attack, right? There would be... By dodge, I mean to counter it in some way, right? So one is a dodge, one is a parry, and one is a guard block, right? I would just have the guard block. And then after you've been fighting with that for a while and you learn the timing on that, then you add another one, right? But having it there from the beginning is just very hard to deal with. Very, very hard to deal with for me. Again, I might be the worst person at these games in the world. That's quite possible. But, ow, I'm just trying to hit this dude, it's too fast, I can't use any of my slow attacks on this guy, or girl. Ah. 
Ow! Hey, I parried! Ow! See, you have to... The problem with trying to heal in combat is you need like 2 seconds to do it, or 1.5 seconds. And like... You don't... There's no stun, so you don't... You're not ever guaranteed that you can do that, as near as I can tell. It's just like, if the enemy decides not to run at you at that time, then you can heal, otherwise you can't. I mean, there may be many things that I'm missing about that, but, uh, yeah. I'm just trying to figure it out, people. Lock on the guy! Like, I don't... Urinal armbands. Thanks for telling me that a lot prospect has killed me four times in a row. Ah, this guy's fast again. Ah. I need fighting gloves. Oh, they don't work. out of stamina I guess my guards fail when I'm out of stamina how come he gets the blue shield block I don't get it ceremonial glass of kefir all right do I get a safe oh I can go I can go to that Oh, that's an enemy. No, that's a player. All right, full health. Blue is his version of the parry. Okay. Okay, a drunken master base style would be awesome. Maybe I have to play this enough to get that. Okay, find and defeat Jin Mesca. Is that Jin Mesca by the altar? How do I know if that's Jin Mesca or a player? I don't want to fight that if that's a player. fight's happening. Well, it's 
happening nearby. Has anybody seen Jin Mesca? Why did this game tell me to kick wooden doors? Maybe it was just to teach you the kick and not to kick wooden doors. Why does this player not just punch the dude? Are they recharging gems? What's going on? Yeah, I think that wooden door was just to teach kicking. It wasn't supposed to teach you to kick wooden doors. That is my opinion. I don't know where. I already went there. That, I don't think that's a player. I think that's Jin whatever. I don't, I don't know how I know. Oh, farming the move, right, okay. That makes sense. I remember the thing about how you learn moves when you guard. No, that's still PVP. I guess that's a player. Guess that's a player. How do I find Jin Urso? How do I find Jin Urso? Oh God. What's my move for that way? Oh, that's kick. All right. And this is like wheel fist. That's not exactly wheel hiss. That's like spinning, spinning hook or something. Out of stamina. Oh, God.
I guess that means I learned something if I meditate now. Fast elbow unlocked. I guess I could use an elbow attack. I mean, like I said, it's going to just make things harder to learn, because just when I'm starting to learn it, it's going to make it more, more annoying. Why are I blocking his heavy attacks? Can I see the pattern? Look, I'm just going to block people who say that kind of stuff. Look, when people are learning games, they're not good at the game yet, right? That's what it means when you're learning the game. If you were here playing this game and you didn't play fighting games, you probably wouldn't do everything correctly either. That's what it means to be new at a game. So if you're going to just sit there and like say, why are you so not good at the game that you just started playing, that you never play anything in this genre, then I'm just going to boot you off the channel for being an idiot. All right, don't say that kind of thing. I, let me put it this way. I wouldn't put up with it if you said that to a friend of mine. So why should I put up with it if you say that to me? Or even not even a friend of mine, like anyone. If you were saying that kind of thing to anyone in the channel, who was one of my viewers and I'd kick you off the channel. So you got to you got to just have a realistic And besides, I you can block heavy attacks anyway, right? So I just blocked a heavy attack there. It just takes more stamina. So the the reason you get hit is when you run out of stamina, not not that they're inherently unblockable. See that? That just took like half my stamina bar, but it was blockable. I probably can't edit my move set from here. Maybe I can. So I assume that the things I unlock are maybe better. This is how far I am toward learning these things. Yeah, I'm not sure I want to mix things up. Yeah, I agree with JV Good. When when people start trash talking like that on a, especially on a game they've never played, it's like, dude, do it yourself or get lost, right? But yeah, on a stream you can't do that. You know, it's it's just like people saying like Oh, if I was in the army, I'd totally be awesome at, like, you know, charging forts or something. It's like, no, you wouldn't. If I was governor of the state of California, I would totally do a better job. Really? Maybe. Maybe not. You got you to gotta prove it. I don't... So, yeah, I just don't even know... There's a bunch of moves here that I could learn. 
I'm not sure I'm not sure that I know enough about the game to make decisions about which of these I want to pursue. I mean, I presume... Okay. So, for example, my back left attack is this one. No, it's not. It's... How do I show what my current one is? Because I have a back left attack, but it's not fast elbow, it's the spinning hook. Why doesn't it list the spinning hook here? Did that apply? Maybe I can't... Maybe I can't assign these unless I'm at the altar? I don't know. front kick yeah I presume I feel like I can't actually edit these unless I'm at a thing or my bobber that may be wrong Hey, buddy. Oh, two guys. Too many guys. Ow, I tried to heal there and it did not work out. Ow. Once these guys get pretty fast, I basically have to be able to parry. I'm just passing some invisible trigger that's making them run away, and that's really annoying. Ooh, he's got a low sweep. I want your low sweep, bud, buddy. Except I'm going to die before I can get it. Ah. Alright, where am I? I want the low sweep. Oh. Enemies. Enemies! Camera! I can't see a damn thing right now. This guy is like the high level guy. Ouch. Oh wait, this is a thing.
Come on, camera, camera. I should try to get rid of the henchman guy first. I am now just button mashing. These aggro radiuses are so weird. They're so weird. Ouch. accidentally punched his buddy. <sighs> Camera. <coughs> Lock onto the guys. Thank you. What is... Stay in combat mode. What... Like, when I've been playing this game for three hours and I still don't know how to stay in combat mode, that's, in my opinion, a problem. I gotta chain better. Problem is, if I'm watching the meter so I can chain, then I'm not really watching the guy so I can block. fell. Alright. What? Camera. Camera. This is ridiculous. There's a gold flash on your character when you're in the right timing. In the right timing for parrying, you mean? Oh, you mean when you successfully parry? Yeah, sure, but that doesn't help. <laughs> you need to know when you're wrong, you need to know how you're wrong. That's what makes a game learnable. Like, just to, just to show something when you succeed. I know when I succeed parrying because... I parry <laughs> successfully. <laughs> that's not that's not the confusing part. Unless you mean that my guy flashes when I should parry, but I don't seem to see that. Maybe I'm just not maybe I'm just visually overstimulated. Go into combat mode. What the fuck? There's a gold flash when I'm in the right timing for the ch oh yo you meant for the chain punches not the parry yeah I know that 
But wait, that's only that flash is when I do them successfully. It's not when I should do them. Right? Like if I just punch without chaining here. Oh, there is. Okay. I see. I get it. All right, thank you for that tip. That's helpful. I mean, I don't know if I can use it very usefully, but it may help. faster attacks against this guy because my big ones all don't work. Right. Elite Scout Belt. Yeah, the thing about the gold flash is by the time I see it and react to it, it's too late, right? Whereas watching the meter at the bottom, you can time that it's coming up, right? Oh, is this Mr. Bad Guy? that I need to fight? Fu Manchu? I can't see anything! I cannot see a goddamn thing. Uh, what is... How do you put a boss battle in a place with a camera that's... Am I the only person who thinks that that camera is unreasonable? I mean, the problem, the, the reason that happens is they don't want the camera to penetrate through walls, but like, you just have to make your game renderer handle that. <laughs> you can't like... <sighs> Perry, 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 God. camera. If the camera would just stay a constant distance from my dude, it would make the game feel less... I'm going to have to do a rant about this in a second, too. This is important, actually. Yeah. So, here's another thing about making games about making games learnable and about making them uh, feel fair and reasonable, right? So when I'm trying to fight these guys, as you can see, uh, I'm not totally good enough to consistently win against them. Uh, in fact, that time I lost really badly, right? So when a fight is stretching the edge of your skill set like that, you're a little bit overwhelmed. You're like, oh, do I block? Do I, what, what, do I do this? Do I do that, right? At times like that, when the camera starts doing weird things, for example, it has two consequences, right? One is, well, three consequences. One is it just disorients you, so you fight less well, because you're always looking in a different, you're up and then down and like, what's going on? You can't see your own character half the time, right? Two is it messes with the stimuli that you've been training your brain on, because when I can't see my character, the visual stimulus that I've been working toward of like knowing when he's in a position to attack and stuff is taken away from me, so I can no longer see that. Um, and the third thing is, well, it, it, because those stimuli are changing all the time, so, you know, your brain pattern matches, and looking at yourself from the side 
if you start to learn what the timings are of when your character is in a different animation and, and st like like when the right times to transition are and whatever, your brain is learning that view from the side or from a particular angle. So if you change the angle radically, like now we're totally overhead, you have a much harder time, right? As a beginner, when you get better at the game, then you just know, right? But for the time when I am in the game, like changing the camera angle like that is dynamically like this while I'm trying to fight, it makes it very, very hard, right? Very hard, both to deal with it in the fight and to increase my ability ability to fight better, right? Because it's just confusing. So this is the kind of thing that I wish game designers would take more seriously. Like it's just in a game like this, if I wanted people to learn to fight reasonably, I would consider that completely unacceptable for the camera to behave that way. Um, because of the reasons I just gave, which, which may or may not, um, you know, you may or may not agree with me about those things. Let me put it this way. If I was making the space giraffe version of this game where you have to fight through ad like adversity of the medium. So we actually do this in The Witness, right? There's a part in the end game of The Witness where after you've played through enough of the game and you've solved enough puzzles to show that you kind of know how the puzzles go, there's an end game where we start messing with the medium where like the puzzles are staticky or you, ca you, know, you can't see anything on them. They're kind of broken. They like move in ways that they shouldn't while you're trying to solve them. And the point of that is to add adversity via the medium through which you're trying to solve the puzzles, right? Intentionally. This game is doing that unintentionally, and it's doing that at the beginning when you're not good at the game. So um, I, I wish they would improve that, let me say. Now I don't, so here's the thing. I don't want to spend all my time bagging on this game. It seems like it's a good game. Uh, once you get good at it, and um, it seems like it's a good game if you like fighting games. And the developers were cool and sent me a key, um, and and I appreciate that a lot. But what I'm doing is just uh, <laughs> I'm giving voice to the running commentary in my head of what happens as I play the game, and usually that is things that I would prefer if they were better or fixed or whatever, um, because the things that work you don't notice because they work. Uh, end of rant. Do I think the camera should just clip through and make invisible walls instead of staying with the geometry? Yeah, um, I think I mean you can do a certain kind of shader it may require additional information in the vertex data for the meshes, um, but maybe not. You can do a shader that treats the interiors of the walls like fog, for example, or something. Like if you see a back face that's a certain distance from the camera, you just fill it with a even a solid color or a color based on distance, or you can texture it with a 3D texture. So it seems like the inside of stone or something. Um, if you did that, then it would be fine for the camera to poke through walls. Um, and it, and then you have the problem, okay, what if the camera ends up on the other side of a wall? Well, then you have to just detect that and uh, fade out the wall exactly as you're suggesting. So that's what I would do. I would not have the camera, you know, what's happening is I'm getting close to a wall and then the camera's riding up the wall because it doesn't want to go through it, and it's looking down on me, and I'm barely even on camera. Now, if... Suppose you say, well, that's complicated shader stuff, or it requires way too much work on the assets to mark them up so that that looks good, which might be true for a given size development team. Then I would say, if you're going to... If you're not able to do that rendering where you have the camera go through walls and you're not able to fade them out correctly for whatever reason, then you're just not allowed to have level design like this. Like you're not allowed to put me in big closed rooms where the camera is going to do that, right? You have to, you have to, your level design has to be limited to what is acceptable given your engine. 
and your choice of displaying the game, right? So, if you can't solve that camera problem as a developer, or if you're not, if it's beyond the scope of what you want to do, uh, maybe you could do it, but you'd rather spend your time on some other part of the game, like making the fighting system more robust or whatever. That's fine, but then you're just not allowed to make levels like this. You made your choice about what the feature set is, and so you, you have to deal with it, right? There, I finally parried the guy. Oh my god. It's part of the problem is that the animation to parry when you're not actually parrying an attack is way slower, I think, than the actual action of parrying. And again, that makes it hard to learn because the game is misleading you. It's actively misleading you about what the timing of parrying is. And that's not cool. If I'm correct, I might, I might be incorrect about this, right? So, but if I'm incorrect about it, that just illustrates my point about how hard it is to learn under these circumstances. Because I'm not dumb, usually. Sometimes I'm dumb, but often I'm not dumb. Like that, what is that? Like, I'm just behind a wall completely there. This is the low level guy, I guess. So he shouldn't be hard. So the reason the reason that the flash is not sufficient for me to either learn or perform the chains is that the the chain timing changes with every punch. Right? You can see if you look at the bar at the bottom place where you're aiming for moves back and forth. Now, I don't actually know if it moves back and forth in a set pattern or not, in which case maybe it is learnable, I guess. Um, oh, this is here. I still don't know. That other boss that I hit wasn't the boss that I'm looking for, so I don't really know what to do. I mean, maybe I missed something down here about where Jin or so lives. That's a good sub goal. I just want to get that door open. Oh, three guys, come on. Come on. Yeah, totally, right? Like the camera clipping through walls is less annoying than this. It looks less professional, which is why people don't want it for guys, which is why people don't want it to ha happen as developers. But what is go into combat mode, please. There must be something I must have like early on just forgotten something about how combat mode works because I don't otherwise understand. understand why I'm having so much trouble with it. I didn't seem to have trouble with it earlier in the game, but now I just can't seem to lock on to dudes. Like I'm right buttoning there. It didn't just didn't do it till he came pretty close to me. And in that range where he was, like people can already be attacking you from that range. So like, the fact that the lock-on distance is less than the attack distance, if that's actually true, is really kind of messed up. Because it means, basically, that guys can attack you before you're ready to be attacked by them. Which is, even though you see them very clearly on your screen... Oh. Hey, I'll stop punching you if you tell me where Jin Urso lives. Oh, okay. 
Uh, you're in military under top. Yeah, so this is a dead end. This is a dead end. I don't know where to go. And I guess I go back up here to one of that other directions again. But, oh, not you again. those guys are easier now so that you know this way went to the other boss guy and that's the only other come on lock onto the guy what I guess these colorful outfit guys are like higher level or something I was out of stamina. It's interesting that it recharges your stamina after you get hit in a big way like that. to go to the help menu and look at locking on or something if there is a help menu for that. Options. Controls. Rush. Lock. It says R1. I'm hitting R1 and it doesn't lock onto guys most of the time so I don't know. I don't know. Some things are beyond the ability of mortal man to know, and that's one of them. Oh, I'm here again. These three guys. Don't have enough crystal juice. Lock! Maybe it does lock, but the camera action is like independent of that. Ah, these guys are so hard. Dodge. I don't understand. Uh, go, go this way. Go across the invisible trigger. <sighs> this is not going to help much. it on dudes though on petty dudes okay this I went here before this is that really long way to the other area which I don't want to do
Well, I can't really meditate without going through encounters that are harder. I mean, unless this heals me, but I don't think so. Oh, I've got attribute points. See, I don't really know which of my attacks does which thing, and I don't... I don't want to stop and figure that out, because I'm already overwhelmed by information. So... Do that. I definitely could use health. I guess I have to go fight some dudes. Maybe I can cheese these guys in some way. One thing they did get right also on this game in the visuals is that they have pre-computed global illumination. Like they have shadow maps uh, or light maps in addition to shadow maps, which is also something we did on The Witness. Like see how it's darker underneath the platform here than on the sides of the walls near it. That's light maps, and they go a long, long way toward making your helping your game look good, right? Without light maps, this would look much less good. So, uh, yeah, you can see, see there's no light maps actually on that big thing in the distance, um, and it looks a lot more flat and less less lively. So they did a good job on that on that. I don't want to fight Mr. Strong Guy. Especially if he's got buddies. Oh. I don't know why it went out of combat mode again, but it did. Alright, I just ran past those guys not necessarily what I want to do because that's a I like actually would rather fight the easier encounter and get health out of it Ah, they're killing me! They're killing me and I can't see a damn thing! Now I'm gonna get chased into the other encounter. <sighs> that camera is killing me! It's killing me! There is a practice option, which is also where you edit your moves. Improving your combos would probably help a lot. Yeah, I mean, it's just... I feel like if I can't actually fight correctly with the combos I have, then it's just going to confuse me more to mix them up, right? Like, once I get to the point where I can actually fight, and then I'm like, oh, my moves are a little weak or something, then I'm going to think about that stuff. But right now... Like, it's not like I even have an opinion about my different moves, right? Like, I'm not even at the point where I'm tactically paying attention to the guy's stamina bar. I just kind of only look at the health bar for the most part. All right, and I don't... I want to find some of these other encounters. How do I... Where's Jin Urso at? How do I find Jin Urso? I need a map. Oh, wait, I can go here. I don't know if that helps me or not. Did I did I get here before? Oh. Right, this is just that side of that thing. So yes, I have been here before. But have I gone here? Oh god. Ow.
Ouch. Ouch. This dodge is not the best thing sometimes. Ah, parrying is also not the best thing sometimes. And the camera is not the best thing sometimes. Yeah, I'm still button mashing half the time. It's just, it's very, very hard to learn. Very hard to learn. There's a dude with a sword. Perry! Harry, God damn it. This camera kills me, literally. Ouch! Don't hit me, baby. Out. Chain those punches. Get away. Apparently need even more of that. Alright, is there a way to go this way? No, that is a dead end. I feel like the dude that it wants me to find should be down there somewhere and I'm just missing a, a pathway. Oh. Is that a pick up my experience that I lost by dying thing? Lock onto the guy. Oh damn, I have very little health. Spawn, what? I was barely able to handle this fight as is. Now there's two frickin' guys. Do I plan to play Dead Cells? I played Dead Cells a bunch. Um, I mean, I think it's still early access, but it's an alright game, you know? I don't mind it. Um, oh, 
Oh, I can go here. I wish I'd been more curious about that. Uh, let's look at our equipment. See, I don't... It said early in the game, like, oh, you don't want to encumber yourself. But I don't know how much encumbrance is a lot of encumbrance. Etc. Like, I don't know... So my weight of these goes up to 0 0.8. How much is how much is 0 0.8? I don't know. <laughs> I have like no basis for making these decisions. Okay, I don't seem to be fighting that many guys with weapons. So I guess I want to go for the lighter mask that has blunt. No, that's the same amount of blunt and more cut. I'm not fighting guys with weapons, so who cares? I want a lot of blunt right now, because I'm fighting fisted guys. Okay, well, this is an extra 1.3 heavy. How much is that? I don't know. It's a lot more blunt protection, though, so I guess I'm going to wear that. All right, everything there is worse on blunt. That's better on blunt. And lighter. How are urinal armbands better than elite scout gloves? I don't get it. Okay, these are way worse on cut, I guess. But again, I'm not fighting sword guys. Is there a way to get rid of my extra items? Um, tribal pants. Well, they're a lot heavier. I just, again, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. My mobility is normal. I don't know what that means. Still 21. I'm smoking 44 blunts right now. Yeah, I know, I know the heavier I am, the slower I am. I mean, the game said that in the tutorial. The thing is, I don't know how much slower. I don't know what one point of mobility means in practical purposes. Like, I've gone from, I think I had 23 or 24 a while ago, like at the start of this stream. So I've gone from, like, 24 to 20, but I don't know what that means. And I don't know if it's worth having more armor, right? I mean... I'm supposed to be making intelligent decisions about this, but I don't know what the numbers mean, so I, they can't really be intelligent decisions. Lock onto the guy. got through my guard.
changed my attack. Uh, ow. Ow. I don't want to go back there. Maybe Jin Urso is on the other side of that door. Or on the other side of the map. I don't really know. Weapons like my fists, glove things, my fist of gloves. Where does Jin Urso live? Where does Jin Urso live? Yeah, I believe this game comes out on Monday. Is that right? Someone is saying they restart this game from scratch. I wouldn't want to restart from scratch because I don't think I lose anything from having died a bunch. Maybe I do. See, I do. I feel like I'm kind of too slow to fight these guys now. Like, this person is much faster than me. It's like, holy cow. How do I land anything? Oh, I cross the invisible trigger. Like, how am I supposed to get out of this area and win this fight? This is ridiculous. It's not even giving me my bar. What? Lock on. <sighs> How have I been playing this game for hours and I don't understand lock on? It's terrible. I don't know if it's me being terrible or the game being terrible. Oh, he's got drunken style, I think. That doesn't look that much like drunken style. It looked, the idol kind of looked like drunken style. That was drunken boxer right there. That's cool. If I could get the drunken boxer moves and actually learn how to fight competently, then I'll be having more fun at this game. I just, I wish I knew how to find the tar- I'm just wandering aimlessly through the map looking for targets. That one target, I think that was a target at the end of that other area, is too hard for me right now, so I'm looking for other targets. Because there's like nine of them or whatever that you saw on the minimap way back, and I just, I don't know how to find the rest of them. Oh. 
Ow. Right. Chaining punches seems pretty important, and I'm not very good at it because... Because there's a lot to look for and a lot to look at. A lot to pay attention to. Can I, like, get up there? I don't think so. Duck. Oh, that does a lot of damage. I didn't assume it would be that much. Too used to PUBG. Ugh. Why are, do these guys auto level? They seem like they were, seem like they're a lot harder than they were last time I was here. Maybe it's just that I'm slow. I don't feel like all this extra armor I put on is helping at all. So I don't know if it's that the guy's auto level or... Like, it's if anything, it's way harder to fight these guys than it used to be. So either it's just I'm way too slow, given the armor, or... Something. Yeah, I think I think it auto levels, which I really don't like games that do that. That's one of my pet peeves. Like I like it when there's an objective reality. Camera, what? Oh my god. I think that's about, I think it's time for me to go back to work. Let's see what's going on in chat. Your experience is enemies don't scale up in power unless you're an active co-op. Maybe the other two guys are. 
those are NPCs that I was fighting, and they just seem way stronger than they were an hour ago or two hours ago. I don't know what the deal is. I feel like I should be better at the game than I was two hours ago, but those guys are much harder to beat. Maybe my guy's just a lot slower with all the armor and I should take it off. Let's try that. I can play as naked drunken master. All right. Oh wait. Well, my mobility is now 27. I can't not have a mask. 28. All right, 28 seems a lot higher than 20. Let's see how fast I die, though. See, that guy, like, died a lot faster. Like, I feel like it shouldn't be easier to beat these guys naked. That shouldn't make sense. I mean, I am fighting them only one at a time now, for luck reasons, but... but I never learned to swim. See, I can counter a lot of these big attacks by punching now because my punches get out there fast. How am I supposed to parry when the g I can't see the g guy. I have no blade. That wasn't Jinner, so. Yeah, like, what? How come it's easier for me to beat guys at naked than it is at normal mobility? or what it described as normal mobility.
All right, these guys, it's not easier to beat for some reason. Whoops. All right. I guess I'm still healing over time a little bit. Is that true? Yes. Maybe they are too. Lock on to the guy. I don't know what that noise was. Ow! He got so weapon. Uh, yeah. Compare your chains now to what you're doing in the stream. You did easily six to eight punches in a row since you stripped versus nearly half that all deck out. Yeah. Um, I think things maybe happen in this game once I get further. The, the problem is I'm supposed to, the overall goal is that to open this one big door, I'm supposed to find all these targets on the map and defeat them. And I found exactly one out of all the targets so far. And so I don't know if I'm just missing little nooks and crannies. Oh, maybe that other one was one of the other targets. I don't know. Um, but like, I feel like, <sighs> and then all the other fighting, the other guys is just grinding levels and whatever, which I'm not a big fan of, but like, look at this. The reason this looks good is because there's light maps on all the walls. That's, I guess that's something Unreal does pretty well now. Why is it making me fight two guys all the time? I can barely fight one guy. I don't know. I mean, the problem is I don't have an objective because I don't know where to try to find guys. I mean, I could try to like take a screenshot of the minimap and line that up somehow with the world, but the world is just so, it's got so many, it's so maze of twisty passagey that I don't even know how I would find guys. Um, so just ow I'm just gonna try to go somewhere that I ain't been all right well that wasn't it activate why doesn't it oh cuz it cuz I'm in combat Something like that Oh, that gives me the map, right? So among the problems with this map are, I'm not sure, so I guess the green hexagon is my current position, which means this is considered the same zone as the one where I defeated the boss. And I feel like I defeated that boss pretty far away from here. Maybe that's not right, but so like I don't I don't know which way I'm facing. 
and I don't know how to get to those other two hexagons, and it's not, like, I don't have enough environmental cues to try and do an interesting job of hunting them down. Like, what, you know, where is this on that map relative to what I was just looking at? I honestly have no frickin' idea. But these guys are a lot easier than the ones I was just fighting, so... Maybe this is, like, supposed to be more toward the... Ow. I should have buried that. Ow. I'm too busy looking at the, the stamina bar. that noise? I wish I knew what that noise meant. I got a urine top. I got a soto uke, which I don't know what that is. Have I been there? I don't feel like I've been there. I don't know how I'm supposed to figure out how to get there from here, honestly. I already had Fong Lee's underwear. Okay, I was definitely just there. Oh, that's where that statue is. Never mind. I wish I could learn a move by looking at the statue hard enough. Get all drunken master up in here. Okay. So these are these guys who I just had a hard time fighting before. What is that? There's like a pickup. All right, I guess I'm fighting these guys. Camera! Oh my god! <laughs> Alright. Ah, uh, you're just not allowed to do that. You're just not allowed to make a game where the camera does that. It's illegal. It is not permitted. Okay, so I feel like this is kind of a dead endish area. Oh, maybe not. But if this is the narrow passageway, okay, this is like a narrow passageway to a neighboring area that I haven't been down yet, or in a while. Okay, that's good though. So this is, this is the passageway to the area, which means when I go to the altar, right, and it gives me the map, So, so the little dongus on the lower right is where I just came out of. So if I curve around the area to the right, to the next entrance, that's kind of where one of the targets is. I think. So I want to kind of go this way. And just hug the right wall. Do I have any visual indicate? This is, I've been here, right? 
Maybe I just go to the highest point. I don't know. Ah! Camera. I tried to parry every one of those, and I missed them all. Like, where where do people think I should be trying to go to get this enemy? Like, because I don't really know. I feel like it might be in that high room there, but I also feel like that would have been a place I would have tried to go before. This guy. What is with the camera here? Holy crap. Ah, how, what is the game even doing there? The guy's like slightly uphill from me, so it puts the camera at a lower. It shouldn't, like a small angle difference like that shouldn't do anything camera wise. Uh. Ow. So I guess I'm trying to get to the highest room here. We'll see if I can manage that. Camera! Oh my god! What is even happening here? This is ridiculous! <sighs> what even was that? game expecting <laughs> oh good thing this guy's respawn now oh two great great two guys at once now I'm stuck it won't let me move and then I die okay that's that's shelf moment right there 
Um, you know, I want to like this game, and as I get better at it, I may like it more, so I'm probably going to stream it more later. Um, but for now... Because I like, I like skill-based games, and I like games that are different from other games and that are sort of doing their own thing. And um, I like games that are intricate and have subtleties to them and stuff. And it, this game seems like it has all that. So I'm going to keep playing it till I learn to like it or till I just give up. Um, so we'll see. I just, man, the camera... A better camera would go a long way. A long way. A long way. Did I take a look at Hellblade or is it not really your thing? I don't know what Hellblade is. I just know it's a game that came out recently that some people like. So um, I really, I have no opinion on it because I don't know anything about it. Yeah, that's the thing. This, so P as Pizza Morning says, it's not like they didn't put work into the camera in this game. Like, they definitely did because the camera's doing all sorts of stuff. It's doing, like, FOV changes. It's doing angle changes and stuff. It's just, like, it somehow misfires so much of the time. And I, I'm not sure why. Like, if they put that much work into it, you would expect it to work better. But, yeah, it, it may be that the core assumptions... Are not correct about what the camera should be doing in the first place or something like that but yeah the game looks great they did a good job of making the world feel like it has a lot of atmosphere um, so I'm gonna keep trying to play it I'm gonna see if I can get to the neighboring region etc Can you join your friend easily? I don't know. I haven't tried to join with anybody yet. I haven't tried to figure that out. Maybe that's what I should be doing, is maybe I should get someone else to play the game, and then we should team up and try to beat those guys. Maybe that's what you're supposed to do, right? Maybe one of the reasons it's so hard is that I'm trying to solo all this stuff, and you're not supposed to solo necessarily. That could be. Definitely recommend modifying your combos early on in your next play session. Yeah, um, I'll probably try and do that now. Like, I'm starting to feel like, like I still can't do my current combos like effectively. Like, c battles are still too fast and enemies are still too hard. Uh, but I feel like I at least remember what everything is now, <laughs> which means that maybe I could start playing with it. Um, so maybe that's what I'll do on the next stream is try and get better combos and stuff. The thing is, so again, in the same way that, in the same way that the map is too vague for me to really set a goal for myself, which makes all this fighting feel like flailing and endless or pointless wandering, right? Um, the thing about the move sets is if I want to learn a particular move, it's not like I can go somewhere to fight a guy to learn that. It's like I don't know what enemy has that move, and I just have to fight a bunch of random guys till I see one that has that move. So it doesn't, you know, there's an old thing in game design that games should let people formulate a plan and then attempt to execute that plan, right? And I don't feel like I'm really able to formulate plans in the long term, right, in terms of long term goals. In short term goals, I can formulate a two or three move plan about what I'm going to do when I'm fighting. But in the long term, like how I'm going to find all these targets to get the frickin' door open or how I'm going to um, how I'm going to learn the moves that I want or anything like that, I don't see a way to formulate a plan and then attempt to execute it. It's more just like random event after random event. And that, I think, is problematic.
Yeah, I haven't played enough of the Souls games to compare it. Like, all the stuff that I've just been complaining about may be true of the Souls games as well. I have not played one of those in a really long time. And the only one that I played a substantial amount of was the original Demon Souls. So, and, and they've probably come a long way since that game. The heal is a life-stealing heal. It's much stronger if you can damage enemies while it's active. Okay. Interesting. Um, yeah, I'll see if I can pull that. It just seems hard to pull off, right? Because you need to be far enough away from the guys to not get hit while you do it. And then I guess the active... I guess I don't know how long the active duration is. Yeah, I didn't, you know, I've never played a Souls game to completion in part because I don't really like them that much. Um, those are, again, games that I wanted to like and that I didn't totally like. So, and let me just say, you know, again, the fact that I'm not totally gelling with this game right off isn't, you know, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's not a good game. It just may not be that good for me. <laughs> um, so hopefully some percentage of the audience out there uh, is interested in the game and wants to play it because we need to support independent games these days because uh, it's hard to be an independent developer right now. Um, so if you like fighting games, I encourage you to check it out. Maybe you'll be better at it than me. Wouldn't be hard probably. Yeah. So what Oblivion Doll said in the one, two, three point right there, I totally agree with, right? So what I'm hoping is that once I get better at the game and or get more used to these things, I'll just enjoy it more because if, if all the humps are, are in the initial experience, right? If the biggest problems with the game are that it doesn't tutorialize well enough or, you know, that sort of thing, then I'll get past that eventually, right? And then, you know, Maybe then the camera is still not good, but um, if you're if you have a grip on combat, then you can deal a little bit better with the camera being a problem, right? Whereas if you're already like barely floating above water to begin with, then the camera will just be enough to kill you. So um, that's what you know. I'm gonna keep playing. I'm gonna hope I get past that stuff and into a point where uh, I can really be in the flow of the good part of the game. Which, you know, I do, I do feel like I'm closer to that than in the first play session, right? Um, I just am certainly not there at this time. <laughs> Did I ever run into similar questions about what to do for an in-game map with the witness or was that fairly easy to solve? Um, no, I thought a lot about how to map things in The Witness, um, but because it's a puzzle game, then it was okay to make the way that you find things be very cryptic and hard to understand for new people because that was the point, right? But, um, you know, different things are appropriate in different genres of game, I think. Although, that said, if there was a map kind of like a map from The Witness where it was hard to understand that it was a map but once you did it was super informational that would be cool i would i would be down with that in this kind of game
yeah, so this game comes out Monday. I'll probably play it either more later tonight or uh, tomorrow. Maybe I'm going to do some more programming tonight. I can't believe it's 6.30 already. How did it get that late? Have I been playing Absolver like a really long time? How long does it say? It says I've played four hours in Steam, so it can't have been that long. Let me see. I sent an email about work that I finished at 3.15 p.m. So I guess I've been streaming for three hours. Yeah, um, the witness didn't need a map for the basic playability. But the thing about it is, if you if you start to understand that there are certain things in the game that you could be completionist about, um, bes you know, besides the obvious things, I don't want to really spoil or anything. Um, then you want to help people find them. Otherwise, it just becomes a very grindy search through every place on the map with no guidance, right? And that would have just felt bad. So we provided ways to find things um, that are systemic and that you had to sort of figure out how they work. Um, and even before you figure out how they work, by the time you realize that everything in the game is significant, then you should at least be able to realize that this thing you haven't figured out has some significance, right? So. But, but but again, that's a puzzle game way of approaching the problem, which may not work for a fighting game like this. Three hours, 21 minutes. Is the thing in the Witness GPU assisted? No, nothing really. The only things in the Witness that are GPU assisted is just regular shader kind of stuff. There's no gameplay that's GPU based. Did I enjoy West of Loathing? I had fun with it, yeah. Um, why did I have fun with it? I don't know. I mean, it was just fun. All right. I'm going to stop streaming and start doing some more work. Thanks, everybody, for stopping by. I'll probably stream this game tomorrow, I guess. See you later.